Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! All right, so we're starting at the INM Canal, and uh, this is the lock tender's house, and the lock tender uh, had to be available night or day to uh, let barges through, to let boats through. And so they built houses uh, right here, right next to the canal. And this is like one of two that are still standing. And uh, you know, we can't go up to it, so they're doing a good job of preserving it, I guess. This is the Des Plaines River, right? This is the Des Plaines River turning into the Illinois River. And that's the Kankakee River. Uh, I think that's farther down by McKinley. Further down? Yeah. McKinley Woods. Woo! It's cold. Brisk December day on the INM Canal. All right, we really have not gone very far. So the house up there is lock six. This is lock seven. And uh, you, I'm just, <laughs> I have to keep telling myself that this is the INM Canal. Like this is, there's so much history around that name, yet this is so small. This is the width of the boats. Yeah. And uh, so this is Lock Seven, and just some of the, the obviously there's a concrete wall here now, Ooh. but the wood, the, you know, obviously it must have been wood doors, and they must have swung open been secured up in here or this was some kind of mechanism to help close it back up because the water is flowing but on both sides now it's not very pretty oh oh you're freaking me out well when you fall into the muck we have it on film All right, you'll uh, you'll take the bridge back, right? Yeah. Hey, you get to say you crossed the I and M Canal. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Kids today. All of the river commerce that took place 150 years ago came through here. Oh, that's a normal path. It was. <laughs> Um, we're still learning those things. <laughs> At least we had a nice cabin sleep instead of a cold tent sleep. It is freezing. I, I have not been, this is the coldest I've been all year. Right now? Yeah. 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 So we go that way. Yep. So we're going to do a little reverse 360 here so you can see this plaque of animals that are native to the area. Don't run across these very often. Thank you, Will County Forest Preserve. Yep. This is great. Holy cow. Yeah, I'm very impressed with this. Oh, snakes. Look at raccoons in the river. Oh, Beaver? cool. Yeah. Since we're rolling, this is kind of an interesting view. Uh, obviously, the rope pulling the boat, if the boats are being pulled, would be tied to a mule. And the guy would be, you know, guiding the mule along the side here. So all these, you know, all the growth that would be on the side of the canal would have been cut down. 
And sure enough, as you walk on the river side, you have old you know, older trees, trees that certainly could be 100 years old. Nothing next to the canal, but on the other side, you got older trees again. And some of these trees are just spectacular. And so this is the Des Plaines River side. And uh, it's just kind of a nice view. These are also the power lines that we're supposed to walk under. So I guess this is a landmark of sorts. The path is pretty neat though. It's, you can completely see how the mules and the people were walking and the canal versus the river. What my dad keeps saying is that uh, along this path, there must have just been uh, no shrubbery on the canal side of it because the ropes were connected from the boat to the mule or the horse and then they got the, uh, the kid uh, leading that mule or that horse along. So there's no time to sort of run around any sort of tree. So this all must have been uh, newer in the last 150 years, 100 years. years. Did in uh, your reading, did this you, vegetation that is. Do you remember the years that the canal was active? No, I don't. I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've read it like four times in the last three hikes, but anyway. But yeah, it's it's very special to get waterways on both sides of you while the body of land in between is is the trail like that's that's hard to do um this is pretty oh, well possum. marked what Fucking possum part of my french oh yeah oh look at him he's got a little hole hey hey we are at mile 46 on the entire canal trail not 46 for us I am so digging this path. We're talking and having a great time, but just to see, I mean, it's great that we're here with the tree or the, the leaves are down because you really get an idea of the landscape here and how, how much work this must have been at a time when you don't have gas engine um, tools to help you or suntan lotion and bug spray. <laughs> And uh, also, um, this Plains River to the left, the canals to the right, you can see a visible height difference here. So that's kind of neat to see kind of exactly why they had to do all this and why the locks are so necessary because the water is at two different levels. I'm going to scan this QR code for the canal tour real fast. That's a great idea. And we do like QR tags. Shout out QR. <laughs> Shout out Mr. QR tag. <laughs> hey, where are we? We'll find out. In a oh, it's the the old pine or old oak trail. Oh. But it's a part of the McKinley Woods. Yeah, McKinley Woods. We got a trail runner. All right, so we're we're kind of at the bottom of the hike, to the furthest most point. There are two loops to do here. We're on one of them. And this man, he explains the value of being in nature. And in nature, you don't have your subconscious reflected back to you. In fact, nature is a place that can absorb your subconscious. So, so it's relaxing. It's relaxing, it's like a reset. It's yeah. like all of the subconscious tendencies that you, that you have in your everyday life, you can watch that slowly fade away. You let down your barriers and your guard as you hike in nature. Whereas the city or 
non-nature is always a reflection back. It's a mirror yeah. to your subconscious behaviors. It was very resonant for me. Me too. All right, well, now we got it on film. So we can reflect it back. <laughs> Talk about the eternal reflection. <laughs> this is a great 360 opportunity. We just had a quick snack. Ryan's looking up some more stuff. But uh, this barge came. So I wanted to get a little barge film. Because this guy is big. Given the fact that we've been filming how small the locks were for the INM, modern day barges, not even in the same scale. I turned this back on because we were coming up to what we think are campgrounds or their reserved picnic areas, can't tell which. They're kind of low, low ground, so kind of in the uh, picnic area standpoint, but since we are camping a lot, well, I wanted to show the campground or the potential campground. Right. So they said there are campgrounds down here. Yeah. These are... So these all have fire pits, picnic tables, barbecues, which typically that's more of a picnic. They're also numbered. They're numbered, right. So there's two handicaps up there. And then site one, site two, three, and four. So I don't really know, but in the spring we'll find out. All right. So. There's the canal down there and the path that we were walking on on the way in. We're walking back on the opposite side and on this path, which is uh, hardly marked on the map, there's all kinds of fire damage. And you can see some of these trees that are down here. Those are all burnt out trunks and stumps. And up in this field here, you can kind of see back. You can see how, well, how black the wood is here. This whole area got burned out. And this is not a controlled burn, as far as I can tell. There's no, there's no uh, boundaries, appropriate boundaries. This tree they must have cut down. Hey there, friends, family, and followers. It's Hike 360, and we're coming up on the finish line of today's hike. We hiked the INM Canal Trail. Uh, a section of it, rather, that's going to end up being about 10 miles there and back. We started at Chinoa State Park and walked down the canal trail to McKinley Woods. At McKinley Woods, we did two small uh, mile loops. We got a feel for that forest preserve and then made our way back up to the trailhead. All of this is taking place in Will County, by the way, and I really like how Will County's forest preserve, how they function. I, I like what they're doing over here. Uh, they have well-marked trails. They've got uh, fun plaques uh, along the trails. Anyways, this hike was really cool. I feel like I got a better understanding of how things worked back in the day, back when the INM Canal was active, uh, the way that just material would make its way north to south, and and the function of the Illinois River, the Des Plaines River, and uh, I just I can understand why they would want to build a canal next to it. Wildlife was pretty pretty cool too, pretty uh, uh, plentiful. We saw lots of duck. Uh, the ducks were walking out on the ice. That was fun. 
we saw beavers. I haven't seen any beavers before, but I got to see two different beavers on this hike. And there's lots of evidence of these beavers from the, uh, the tree, bottoms of the trees and uh, the chunks that the beavers have uh, gnawed off of them as well as all the fallen trees along the river and along the canal. Uh, and lots of beaver dams out in the, in the river. Uh, like lots of them, like, like one section I saw had like 10 of them. So I don't know, it was pretty cool. So yeah, the beavers were chilling. And uh, oh, I saw some pileated woodpeckers. Uh, that is a black and white woodpecker with a red piece of feather on its head so that was really cool uh we're finishing now and we're walking over lock number six i believe this is actually no this is lock number seven of the canal and lock number six is closer to the trailhead so it's getting dark a lot of fun very calm i feel refreshed and ready to take on another week of work and then do this again next week. Peace.